Hello, I'd like to demonstrate to you how to use the DreamCrowd Professional Calculator to uh, analyze cash flows with a net present value and internal rate of return. In fact, you can do it off of one set of cash flows. So I'm going to start by opening up my graphing and lists window. I'm going to put in a set of cash flows. So of course the first cash flow has to be negative because since it is a, an investment and I'll put in a few more okay that's the cash flows we're going to work with today so now I'm going to go over to the calculator and I'm going to change it to the financial mode as you can see, we got a simple calculator, a scientific calculator, and financial calculator. So I'll change that. And don't get put off by the complexity of this uh, calculator at the moment. We're only going to work with uh, three or four keys here to find the net present value and the internal rate of return. So I'll start by putting in the interest rate for the net present value calculation. This is either interest rate or hurdle rate. So you can see I put in 10% and now all I gotta do is hit net present value and I want it the first one here so I'll net present value. So the net present value is four thousand four hundred and eighty three dollars and thirty cents. Okay now all I have to do to find the internal rate of return is hit the IRR button and our internal rate of return for that uh, series of cash flows is thirty uh, 0.83 percent. So one more thing I'd like to show you is the, a graph of our cash flows. Now this is the cumulative cash flows. So uh, we started out with uh, uh, investment of 10,000 and then we had a cash flow of 5,000, another of 5,000. So our uh, in, in the year two, uh, our payback is uh, it's been accomplished in year two without, and of course, this is without discounting, and uh, and then we become positive in year three and four, and we can look at the non-cumulative cash flows here.